So how do you know if you have atrial fibrillation or AFib? Um, I get this a lot. A lot of patients come to me and say, doctor, doctor, I, I swear, I think I have AFib. I feel fluttering. I feel this, you know, sensation. My heart is just racing. It feels, you know, crazy. Um, I, I don't know. I think I have AFib. So, or, or they have like their Apple Eye Watch. Their watch tells them irregular. Or they're checking their blood pressure. Uh, they're on their blood pressure cuff. And it says irregular, you know, because sometimes it gives you blood pressure and your pulse and it just has a star or says irregular. Um, so those are ways to do it. Sometimes the eye watches, the eye watches are pretty good. You know, the studies they've done on those are pretty good at getting your uh, AFib detection. Um, if you have a pacemaker, it can tell us if you have AFib. If you were wearing an EK, if you had an EKG done and it shows AFib, then you have AFib. A lot of times the patient says, hey, I have AFib, but they have like no proof that they have it. Or they say, you know, doc, my heart's just racing. I don't know what it is. So in those scenarios, we'll have you wear a heart monitor. These are called Holter monitors or event monitors. Um, you know, they, they all have different names. Usually it's like a two-day monitor. Your insurance normally will uh, accept a two-day monitor first. So we put you on the two-day monitor, check your heart for two days. We don't catch AFib. But you, you really think you have it or you're still feeling the sensation, but we don't catch anything. We can then opt for like a two-week or a 30-day monitor. We check the third, two weeks, 30 days. We still don't catch anything, but you still feel it. Um, the next option is something called a loop recorder. We, there's this little device, looks like a tiny little USB stick. We inject it under your skin. It can monitor your heartbeat for three years. And it, it downloads every night and sends it to our office. And we can see if you actually have AFib or not. Um, but the things to look out for is like skipping beats or any of those other devices or, or methods we talked about earlier. Um, sometimes you feel lightheaded or dizzy. Sometimes you have easy fatigability. Normally you could mow the entire lawn with a push mower, but you get tired more easily than usual. You could be short of breath. Um, you could be lightheaded or dizzy. It just kind of depends. They're, they're, the symptoms could vary very much. Um, so definitely keep an eye out on those things. If you think you have this, talk to your doctor, or, you know, have them send you to a cardiologist so we could do all these different kinds of monitoring and see if you have it. If you like this video, here's a whole bunch more for you.